Find this artifacts on Mars. I kind of sound like I am fried in my throat because I caught a cough September 30th. I caught a cough from a uh, flu shot and still wreaking havoc with my voice. But we're going to have fun anyway. So go grab a cup of coffee, sit back and relax. Because this is going to be fun. I'll probably laugh halfway through it. No, well, it's the source. Yeah, I gotta consider the source on this. Communism News Network, or the Cannibal News Network, if you prefer. It's one of the reporters is Cannibal. Okay, uh, fossilized skeleton was Littlefoot, not Bigfoot, Littlefoot, an evolutionary studies institute well, at the University of. Not gonna happen in Johannesburg, South Africa. Unbelievable. That's the picture I was reading. South Africa's cradle of humankind expanse of farmland in the rolling hills outside Johannesburg is already unlocked. It's one of the great mysteries of evolution. The unveiling of a near complete fossil hominid skeleton dating back 3.67 million years only solidified the importance of the region. They call it Little Foot. <laughs> yeah. Fossil skeleton takes its name from small foot bones discovered by scientist Ryan Clark in 1994 when he was sorting through bones in boxes from not gonna happen cave system. Even then, Clark was surprised that his fossil surmised that the fossil his bones came from. Astrolopithecus species. Sorry, butchered that. Smallest ape like human ancestors from this part of Africa millions of years ago. <laughs> you idiot scientists get it. There were humans back then. Duh! In 1997, he found more bones than a cover. <laughs> Found more bones in the cupboard at the medical school of the university in Witwatersrand. All right, there I did it. The rest of the little foot was found. <laughs> the rest of the little foot was found in better than the. <laughs> Cal's Ancient Cave in 1997. So they take the collecting. Freaking bones! Oh, I know this could be chicken bones, but they're making a. <laughs> nature human out of it. Race the little foot was found in better than calcified ancient cave in 1987 in the excavation, cleaning, reconstruction, casting, and analysis. Took 20 years. Much of the work was done deep inside the cave system, working away at concrete-like rock called breccia, using air scrapes to avoid breaking the petite, fragile, and priceless fossil remains. For all I know, these could be chicken bones, I mean. <laughs> That's all sorry, I can't handle it. Process required extremely careful ice. In the dark environment of the cave, once the upwardly facing surfaces of the sculpted bones were exposed, breaking in which the undersides were still embedded and had to be carefully undercut and removed, blocks to further cleaning in the lab. Now you're going to try this Sturk Bonten cave system. Became famous in the 1930s with the discovery of an adult Astrolopithecus africanus. It says that little foot is from a second species Australopithecus prometheus, which was named back in 1948 from fragmentary fossils. I can't deal. 
Brian reinforces the belief that South Africa is going to create a human evolution featuring diverse human hominid ancestors. Brian, years information has trickled out on the significance of the find, but this is the first time the fossil skeleton will be unveiled in the vault of the University of Whitwater's Rand Evolutionary Studies Institute. They found a bunch of freaking bones and they put them together and they claim it's they call it Littlefoot. Not Bigfoot, Littlefoot. Kooks! Sorry, I can't deal. I'm seeing her snickering and laughing. This is crazy. Uh, you scientists, I think it's obvious humans have been on this planet a lot longer than this ever been dreamt of by you. Uh, I don't know what I'll say. <laughs> Take a bunch of bones from different locations and put them together and you claim it's an ancient hominid or something. Oh yes. This is BS. No, we didn't evolve from what Sorry. Uh, we've had intervention. Nature is full of intent. You only have to look for it. Uh, just the fact that plants have showy flowers in many cases. When they couldn't possibly know what a uh, bee is, it's proof that there's intent. Anyway, that's your, uh, mad science fantasy for today. Littlefoot, not Bigfoot. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm still sitting here laughing hysterically at its feet. Unbelievable.